Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the third model paper that we are going to do today, and this is uh, the objective part. We all know that objective has 19 marks, and the total time time available to you are 20 minutes. You are given four options: A, B, C, or D for each question, and the choice that you think is correct, you will choose that option which you think is correct, and you will fill the bubble sheet. Remember that cutting or filling two or more circles will result in zero mark in that question. So don't do that. Don't do the cutting or don't uh, fill two bubble, uh, bubble marks because in that case you will get zero marks. So let's get started. Question number one is choose the correct form of verb and fill up the bubble. It dash at present. The correct option is it is raining at present because this is present continuous tense. It rains at present doesn't make a sense. It rained at present. Rained is the past form of the verb and past form of the verb are used in the past tenses. While this is a present tense as it can be seen that it is raining at present. So this is something that is happening in the present. So the correct option is option number D. It is raining at present. Number two, they dash to sleep at 10. This is a present indefinite tense. And in present indefinite tense, we use first of the verb that is go. They go to sleep at 10. They is not a singular third person. So S or ES will not be added with the first form of the verb in present indefinite. In present indefinite, S or ES is added with the first form of the verb if the subject is a singular third person, whereas this subject, they, is not a singular third person. So, go is the correct option. The sun dash in the west, the sun sets in the west. This is again a present indefinite tense, or you can say a simple present tense, and we add S or ES if the subject is a singular third person, and the sun is the singular third person. I dash you since Monday. I have not seen you since Monday. Since and for, F-O-R. Ye kab use hote jab when the tense is a perfect continuous tense. It may be present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous or future perfect continuous tense. So only in perfect continuous tenses we use since or for. So it means we have to look for the option which has a perfect continuous tense. And the only option with that is have not seen. This is present perfect continuous tense. I shall see you since Monday, saw you since Monday, see you since Monday does not, uh, they do not make any sense. He has dash his breakfast. He has, with has we always use third form of the verb. So this is a very simple one. With has we use third form of the verb and the only third form of the verb is uh, the only option with the third form of the verb is see, taken. I've told you that with has, have and had, we always use third form of the verb. And then we use third form of the verb when the sentence is a passive voice. So with has, this is very simple. We will use third form of the verb. Choose the word with correct spelling and fill up the bubbles. Revenge, badla lena. And so these are A is the correct option. Customary, B is the correct option. Number eight. Decorate, B is the correct option. D-E-C-O-R-A-T-E. -E. And uh, infection, A is the correct option. Infection. So learn the spellings whenever you learn something. Learn an essay or learn question answers. Learn the spellings. They will not only help you in objective paper but they will uh, also help you in whatever you compose whatever you write choose the correct option and fill up the bubbles ancestors ancestors kehte hain abaw ajdad ko jo pichle family mein jo purane log guzre hote hain the synonym uh, the underlined word means relatives relatives mein to tamam relatives aa jate hain shuda brothers forefathers is the correct option successors jo baad mein aane wale log hote hain Successes are uh, the people who come later in the family. Baad mein jo aate hain, waris kehte hain jinko. 
the man has been sent with other convicts to australia the underlined word is convicts usko kehte hain jis pe koi jurm sabit ho gaya ho right so the synonym of or the meaning of this convict is prisoner the meaning of convicts is prisoners option number 12 synonym of reward the synonym of reward is prize inam the antonym of foe foe means enemy and the antonym will be dost dushman ka opposite kya hoga friend c is the correct option ali was impressed dash sarmad's grades impressed with so the correct preposition is impressed with ali was impressed with sarmad's grades impressed by nahi hoga impressed of or impressed from no the correct preposition is impressed with number 15 our job is to keep the audience happy the underlined word underlined word is audience this is a collective noun because what is a collective noun a collective noun is a name is is a group of is a group in which we have person place or things right so they collectively are called a uh, collective noun for example team is a collective noun for example class is a collective noun audience is a collective noun army is a collective noun police is a collective noun they include a group of people place a uh, person place or things they include group of person place or things so audience is a collective noun this is again very simple now let's come to number 16 i cannot afford to spend too much money the underlined part of the sentence is a uh, or an gerund participle verb or infinitive infinitive is the correct option because i have told you that whenever we put whenever we put to before a verb this is called infinitive this is also called to infinitive so this is very simple to if you know what an infinitive is verb is the action and gerund uh, and participle participle is an uh, is a verb used as an adjective gerund is a verb used as a noun and infinitive is the verb which is preceded by to and also remember that after to we always use first form of the verb to spend so d is the correct option they invited us to their home yesterday what tense is this this is past indefinite because second form of the verb is used in past indefinite tenses in no other tense second form kahi pe aur use nahi hota it is only used in past indefinite tenses so whenever you see a past second form of the verb it means the tense is past indefinite tense but not all past indefinite tenses use second form because when they are negative or interrogative we use did with them and with did we use first form of the verb anyway so the second form of the verb is being used so this is a past indefinite tense past perfect me in past perfect we use had in past continuous we use was plus first form plus ing was or were plus first form plus ing in past perfect continuous we use had been had been so had been was not used here so this is a past indefinite tense the room was full so i have no place to sit this is a complex sentence because so i have no place to sit uh, is uh, an independent clause or the subordinate clause the room was full is the main clause or the uh, de- or the dependent clause uh, sorry the independent clause so i have no place to sit is a dependent clause the room was full is an independent clause independent clauses are also called main clauses dependent clauses are also called subordinate clauses so whenever the so sentence is a combination of uh, an uh, independent clause which is the room was full and a dependent clause which is so i was i have no place to sit this is a complex sentence and uh, what are independent clauses which give full meaning which com- which which convey the complete message the room was full is a complete message 
so I have no place to set is not a complete message unless it is used with the independent clause the room was full so this is a complex sentence in simple sentences we have one clause and that is the main clause or independent clause in compound sentences we have two independent clauses in complex sentences we have one dependent and one in independent clause This is not negative because not is not used here. 19. Someone ate my cookies. The underlined word is an indefinite pronoun because someone is an indefinite pronoun. Kon hai, we don't know that. Definite nahi hai, this is indefinite. So these are the concepts behind these objective MCQs. And make sure you clear your concepts. If you have any question, you can ask. And whatever you practice, make sure that you practice it with the concept. That's it for now.